Well, Happy New Year's everyone and welcome to another edition of Bushcraft Outback. This year we're going to do things a little bit different. Today we're going to be building an upside down fire and I don't mean like that. I mean we're going to turn it up and we're going to have a fire upside down. Stay with me. Okay, traditionally this is what everybody is used to. Your traditional fire, we start with the smallest wood, work our way up to a little bit bigger wood, all the way up to the biggest wood, and light our campfire. And everybody has seen this. The problem with this is it burns up pretty quickly. You have to continue to feed it. So what we're gonna try to do is flip this fire upside down and let it burn from the top down. Because as we know, fire likes to climb. So I wanna find out tonight, I may spend the night in this shelter out here and I wanna see how long I can make this burn without too much work at all. And by building it upside down, see how long it'll last. I'll take you along for the ride. Let's go. Okay, well, let's start over. We're gonna take some of our biggest wood. And we're gonna start with a nice little rick across the bottom. And we're gonna take some wood and we're gonna make another rick across the top. I'm gonna space these just a little bit. Get some airflow in there. And then we're gonna take and make another rick across the top using some of our other wood. Until we get down to a nice little spot on the top for our little tender bundle. All right, now that we got our rick built, there are different tiers, different layers, all crisscrossing, we're gonna start off with a couple of little homemade fire starters, just for good measure down inside, so we can make sure we get some good ignition. And then I might even sweeten it up a little bit with a little bit of fat wood. just to get a good fire going on the top. And then we're gonna start with some smaller sticks. And we're gonna place them in. So you can see, instead of doing it the traditional way, with everything burning from the bottom up, we wanna get a fire going from the top down and allow this to keep consuming down through each tier until we get it burning for a long time without very little effort into it. I also want to point out that I'm using primarily oak for this particular fire lay and it's going to depend on the type of wood that you use, how long it burns, and uh, you know, pine will of course burn up a little bit faster and uh, some softer woods. And, but uh, this won't spark as much either. I won't get very little sparking once I get down into this, which is gonna be important for tonight. So uh, we're gonna wait till we get a little bit later and uh, fire this puppy up. Okay, it's about 5.30. I'm just gonna light this thing up. <clears throat> 
All right. Let's see how we do. Okay. As I said before, she's burning from the top down. Let's see how we do. I did put a reflector out in front. You can build that out of natural material. I'm just trying to project that heat back into my shelter. So I'm going to be staying out here tonight. And uh, we'll record the temperatures and see how we make out. See if this really puts any kind of heat back into here. Noticeable heat. Stay with me. I don't know if you noticed. I kind of rolled the top of my baker's tent back just a little bit. Because as a general rule, you want to stay at least a pace or a pace and a half away from your shelter. Just in case you get a stray spark, it doesn't come down in and affect your shelter. So that's what I've done. It's about a uh, good three feet from the shelter. So uh, close enough to get me some heat, but not close enough that it's going to affect me if I sleep with this shelter open tonight. And if I get in trouble, I can always pull these flaps down and I have a an alternate source of heat, so don't worry, I'm not going to freeze. Let me give you a shot back into my shelter. I'm going to light these lanterns up here, but here's the overall plan. Get that fire going, project that heat back into there, and see how we make out through the night. I took a temperature check, and it's already about 68 degrees in the top of that baker's tent. Nice. I don't know if you can see this. Oh yeah. It's 75 degrees. On the top of my tent. I think we're working. Okay, it's about 630. That's how far our fire's built burnt down. And uh, we're doing good. About 75 in the shelter. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, about seven o'clock, and uh, I got supper on the fire with a couple of sticks, put them to the ground under a stump, and uh, we are going to try something a little bit different tonight. Stay with me. I got to tell you, I'm a little disappointed in uh, how fast this has burned down. Being this oak, I know it's still nice fire, still projecting pretty good heat, but uh, really expected about four or five hours of production out of this, and uh, I don't think we're going to make it. But I still got my supper on the end, and we're going to wrap that with some dough and have a nice supper. All right, you can see we got ourselves wrapped up with some dough. We're gonna toast that, put some butter, some mustard, and I think we're gonna be golden. Mm. I know I'm hungry. Let's see what we got here. Oh, very juicy. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, it's about seven o'clock and I've still got one and a half rows of wood left. So we're doing pretty good. Okay guys, it's about eight o'clock. Fire is still holding. I still got one and a half ricks of wood left, but it's burning down 
So I'm probably gonna um, retire to my shelter and uh, I'm probably gonna drop these flaps here and here down and uh, got a bed made on the inside got a zero degree bag I'm probably gonna get in that and uh, relax for the rest of the night maybe watch a movie and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning well it's about two o'clock in the morning I don't know if you can hear that but it's the wind and I had to <laughs> get up this morning and fix a storm flap on my shelter I just kind of laid the tarp down in the front here and didn't stake it down and woke up with the wind peeling the tent back but uh no biggie uh, too early to get up so I'm just gonna lay here and maybe uh, catch up on a, on a video for a few minutes we'll catch up with you later chilly out here this morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It's about 39 degrees out here. It's not too bad. We're gonna make us a French press cup of coffee, which is something I don't need practice on, but that's what this camping trip's really about, is just practicing your gear, your setup, trying out a new little curved pipe for my stove so if I want to use it in my walled tent I can um, tent poles I do them a little bit different next time I like strong coffee Yeah, that's what this trip's about. The advantages of being out back of your home um, are tremendous. But uh, the disadvantages is that you have some noises that you don't necessarily want. But today it's very quiet in our neighborhood. And I appreciate that. Neighbors are cooperating. Heard some geese. Still hear him. That's why I like to get out in the wilderness and away from this this 
as often as I can. Yeah, we did real good last night. The fire did not last. It's not one that I would use um, on a regular basis, but I had to find out. I'll probably try to do a long fire out here and see how that makes out. Oddly enough, I had two fires, one out in the middle of the yard, which is our regular normal fire, and, um, and was burning up some Christmas boxes. And um, last night about three o'clock in the morning when I was woke up, I heard snapping and cracking, and I opened the flap of the tent up, and uh, that fire was gone. So the one that I built to last me all night lasted about four hours, and the one that I built uh, just to burn some boxes up, burned all night long. Maybe I should have pitched my tent out there. But don't be afraid to get out and enjoy uh, outside, whether you're home or whether you're uh, in the deep woods. Just get out there and, and enjoy. And we're going to keep making these kind of videos and uh, all year. Until our next video, make sure you keep God first.